As Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that they are not going to do a revamp of the Model Y, understandably so, knowing that Envoy is coming out and it will destroy them. What is NEO doing? Well, to set the stage for this video, take a look at this clip and then we shall continue. But the number one thing that has made us successful by far is obsessive compulsive focus on the customer. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. Now, none of the analysts were saying what Money Mitch was saying, Money Making Mitch. When I was saying that Envoy is going to destroy the Model Y, I told you all Tesla is done. I told you all the robo taxi cannot save them because they're way behind on robo taxi. People say I was bashing, and now the analysts are coming out and admitting and saying the same thing. Pretty much with the poop of ocean, Tata ocean, pooping in his pants all the time, finally admitting that in so many words. And you will see as time go by, coming closer to Envo, and as Envo is released, and Tesla keep losing market share heavily then you will see them finally saying this is very bad for tesla watch so whilst all of this is happening what is neo doing mm. but in that clip you saw exactly what i've been talking about i spoke about and i draw references from the founder of Merck pharmaceutical saying put the customer first all else will follow you saw Jeff Bezos <clears throat> and all of the great CEOs, they think on that same level. Customer service, all else will follow. You have a brand that people trust, that wheels don't fall out, the frame don't rust, you know, it does not uh, scrape up shrubs on the side of the street and autopilot. I'm not calling any names, Tesla. <laughs> but we are putting customers first so that our brand will be recognized as premium luxury brand. The logo for Neo's much anticipated second sub brand Firefly. Ah, did you all forget about that? Yes, it's another sub brand. So now they're talking about Unfo is gonna bring us to profitability. What is Firefly going to do? And the next sub brand coming out next year on the Alps. Mm -hmm have been shared on Chinese social media Weibo ahead of the official brand launch. According to the latest updates from the CEO William Lee at the earnings, Emperor William Lee. Conference call, last week the deliveries of the first model will start in the first half of next year. The leaked photos reveal the code name of the Firefly logo shaped like a Y. In a second photo, the Firefly name is prominently displayed below the logo. When Neo Auto appearing in the right column, additionally, the images also include symbols of for Envo Neo's first sub brand on day last month. And some people were saying, well, th this is not um, compatible with the battery substation. They'll have to change the, the whole configuration, blah, blah, blah. Emperor Lee said it will be battery swappable, comp compatible. So again, countries like Trinidad where BYD is going on, oil rich countries, countries like Brazil, countries, um, in Europe, they all are going to um, embrace this, guys. All the BRICS nations, because it's a little car, it's affordable with superior technology yet again. Neo founder and CEO William Lee had outlined the company's updated strategy for Firefly during an earnings conference call earlier this week. And like I said, guys, I'm buying more shares this morning again, $286 worth of it. For Firefly, and I'm quoting the emperor right now, for Firefly, as I've mentioned, in China, it will be an affordable boutique. Mm, I love the words he used. He said it will be an affordable boutique, compact car. We target the family-oriented users, especially those families who are buying Firefly as their second vehicle. That's about the positioning of these three brands, Lee stated. Lee further clarified the pricing strategy for the three brands under the NEO group. Price-wise, it is also very clear the starting price of our brands will be around 100,000 RMB, 200,000 and 300,000 RMB, which is also clearly differentiated. However, 
These three brands do share a similarity. He says they do share a similarity. What is that? All three brands can support power swap, he added. End of quote. Mm-hmm. Yummy for the tummy. The first model has been, has been seen several times over the last months in road deaths across China. According to official documents shared. And guys, we ensure that our cars go through thorough testing so that we don't have what's happening with Tesla with parts falling off. We don't have what's happening with Rivian massive recalls for just headlights and different things. No, 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 no. We actually go to Australia and test them in the desert and stuff over there as well, in case you guys didn't know that. So Firefly Vehicles is planned to have an annual output of 120,000 units. Don't be surprised if it's more. Mm. Combined with Onvo, which is going to be probably 300,000 units, combined with our other pr uh, premium brands, <laughs> and you want to know why money making it keeps buying and only buying Neo? Mm -hmm. Regarding the development progress of Firefly, Lee shared optimistic insights. Our third brand, Firefly, is making good progress in research and development. Several months ago, I tested an early build of the first model, he said, and it's pretty good. The Firefly product for the Chinese market will be a compact vehicle price around 100,000 to 200,000 RMB. Despite its affordability, it will adhere to high standards for safety and quality, five-star ratings, making it a well-designed boutique car. Lee also discussed the sales strategy for Firefly, indicating that it will share sales channels with Neo. Wow. In terms of the sales channel, we'll also share the point of sales with Neo, similar to how indiscernible shares its dealership sources with BMW. The selling price of Firefly will not be as high as many others, but product-wise, it is definitely a very good product, he explained. Unbelievable, guys. We will start product delivery from the first half of next year, while the brand and product launch dates are yet to be finalized, the delivery timeline is already set for the first half of next year. It's already set. <laughs> so Onvo will come out and devastate the landscape. And while people are still have their, trying to get their heads wrapped around Onvo, fire, we'll unleash Firefly and decimate the landscape and the competition. Regarding Firefly, he says all four European neo markets, Norway, Germany, Sweden and Netherlands are free to choose their distribution model. Neo's general manager for the German markets, Marius Haler, said in a recent interview with Norwegian media, Haler added that several dealership groups in Germany were already invited to discuss potential partnerships with discussion to take place in June. Let me say that again. In a recent interview with Norwegian media, Haler added that several dealership groups in Germany were already invited to discuss potential partnerships with discussions set to take place in June. So guys, this is why I tell you all, we are building a business model that will take time, like Amazon. But when we finish, Amazon will look pale in comparison. We will be the future of gas stations. We will be selling brands that is recognized throughout the world as superior technologically, even our sub brands. So I hope this video was informational, inspirational, and motivational. If so, guys, do not forget to hit that thumbs up. It takes a lot of time to do these videos, the editing and everything like that. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we are waking up the middle class to finally get a piece of the pie. And like Fitty said, we get rich or we die trying, guys.